Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, Love is Blind episodes 7, 8, and 9. Who are these people? Who are these people? Okay. So we have already established that Chelsea needs a therapist stat. Okay. We further realize that in maybe season eight. Okay. She is having a hard time because Jimmy saw Jessica. Now, I seen some stuff all, all up and through the internet on that TikTok. People were saying that Jimmy doesn't really like Chelsea. I don't really know. Okay. I. I don't know. All I know is I want them to free us. Okay? Because I, at this point, I don't know. So, do I think Jimmy and Chelsea are going to get married? No. Okay? Now, let's move on to Kenneth and Brittany. I was shocked and appalled. I was shocked and appalled that that relationship ended so quickly. I don't know. It was either... It was either episode 7 or episode 8. One of them. Where Brittany was just talking to Kenneth and was like, I'm not feeling the spark that I felt in the pod. Kenneth was like, okay, from your perspective. I mean, he was talking very intelligent and I enjoyed that, okay? But then when I went to my friends, they were like, Lee, the internet is eating Kenneth up. And then Reese sent me a TikTok and I said, uh, TikTok girl is correct. TikTok girl said they gave Kenneth a clean edit and Kenneth never liked Britney. Season 7, y'all, they called season 7 something like Silence of the Seas or something because they showed us a clip. I don't know why they showed us this. Now, I know they are recording all this footage, but stop showing us this. Y'all, Kenneth and Britney was on this boat and it was quiet for a long time. I'm looking at the TV like, why y'all showing us this? I don't want to see this. It's very cringy. It's very, get me out of here. Okay? Because if I was on the boat, I probably would have wanted to jump off. And I don't even know how to swim. Alright? So, they ended up ending their relationship. I was like, I just felt sorry for Brittany. And I don't know what happened. One of my friends said, it might have been Roms. She said, y'all remember when um, AD said something to Kenneth about like being black. And if they have kids, those are going to be black children. Do you think Brittany would be able to raise black children? And he was like, yeah. But Roms was like, she think that might have got to him. If it did, I'm annoyed by that. Because AD, you got your own issues. You have eyelashes for days and you have a leave out problem. Leave people alone, okay? Now let's move on to AD and Clay, shall we? So AD and Clay, they are just like, the internet is going off. The internet is calling Clay a narcissist. They're, and I'm like, oof, Jesus, you know. I watch TV to be entertained. I'm not really watching TV to crack the code and do all these things, okay? I just want to be entertained. But some, but the internet, honey, they're watching TV to do a deep dive and to have like a psychology class, okay? I, I'm not interested in that. So I just look at the people's perspective and half the time I agree, all right? Because the people are like, there's red flags all up and through A.D. and Clay's relationship. Now, A.D. and Clay... AD and Clay, they go to a restaurant. They're meeting Clay's mom. Big ups to Clay's mom, okay? Something was happening. Clay works a job and then he works a nine to five. And so I guess maybe he wasn't home or something. And, you know, something went on. And Clay very aggressively at the table was like, So what's the problem? AD was like, Oh, because you, because. That's why I like her. She's like, uh, what? And then the mom was like, let me say this. After someone who's been married for 23 years, yes, that marriage didn't work. And mom gave her two cents, which was good. Like, if you love somebody, you find the time and make the time to spend the, 
the time together. Because that's another thing. For these people, this is the honeymoon phase. And y'all don't really know each other. Which is why I don't think this show is really good. You know, these pe these people, it's too many insecurities with people. They have to be under the person. I just think it's horrible for them, okay? You know, I've known Marquis since I was 16 years old, all right? We dated until maybe I was 18, 19. We broke up. I had Shari by somebody else. Ran into Marquis. When I was maybe, I guess, 24, maybe. We had Marquise, and we was together for some, for, I don't know how long. Um, ended up getting married in 2008, then we broke up. And we was not together for eight years, okay? And then we got back together in 2016. And we've been together ever since. And I'm saying all that to say, I have never needed marquee to be right up under my butt like i think that is disgusting how am i going to breathe if i have somebody constantly up under me it's disgusting it's also why i raised my kids to be independent i mean a little bit to my detriment however but i did because i didn't want like please please don't be up on my back please you got come on now you gotta have your own life don't be following me in the bathroom and all that like i cannot Okay, and my kids are very independent. So I don't understand these women. I just don't. I'm just like, what? what is happening here, right? But I do also understand they're in this honeymoon period. So I don't know if AD and Clay are going to say yes when they get to this altar, all right? I'm anxious to know. And y'all, and I told y'all, I'm going to hit that forward button right on through. I'm not going to belabor when the episodes come back on February 28th. So do y'all know who else was shocking? Jeremy and Laura. Honey, Jeremy ended up meet, hooking back up with Sarah Ann. Because it was between Sarah Ann and Laura. He met up with Sarah Ann somewhere. At her house actually. Because this is the thing. Jeremy shared his location with Laura. Jeremy... Here's a note, honey. If you share your location with Laura, you might not want to go to the other girl's house. All right? That's dumb. So anyway, Laura says she out. So I think... So we was at five couples, honey. I think two are done. I can't even get the fingers up. So we're up to three. Okay, and then next we have my other people. I, I cannot remember their name. Okay? Now... They seem to be pretty solid, except this. The guy, I'm so sorry I forgot his name, but he has cute hair. I like his hair. And the girl, she's like Latina, okay? So the guy, he, I don't know how he was raised, but he is traumatized because he does not want any children, okay? And the girl is like, well, what? Because the girl is not on birth control. And she's not interested in getting on birth control and having her hormones all askew, okay? And so they have not had the sex because he is traumatized about making a baby. And she, and she's like, well, they have agreed that they will, after they get married, they're going to buy a house together. They're both in a position to get a house. So she's like, well, after we get the house in a year, then what if a baby appears? He's like... No, I wouldn't want that to happen. No, he wants to like retire early at 50. She's like, I understand where you're coming from, but I also think we should live in a moment and live together. That's a very hot topic, y'all. I'm not sure how that's going to work out. Also, she said to him, if her dad doesn't approve, she will not be able to marry him. Here's the problem I have with that. These people go on this experiment of their own free will, right? It's very unconventional. Hey, man, don't come back here and try to have some conventional values after you done just got engaged to a stranger by his voice. Now you want to bring your father into it. If my dad doesn't approve, 
Shut up. You're why why are you stressing old daddy out? Your dad is probably traumatized that you went and got engaged to a stranger in a pod. And now you're gonna all make the fiance feel some kind of way because your dad might not approve. Leave daddy out of it. Alright? Make your own decision like you did when you went on the show with the pod. <sighs> Needless to say. Love is blind is stressing me out. Ron has already said love is not blind, okay? Love is not blind. Love is blind. For me, it's not, okay? I wouldn't be able to do it. Well, the new episodes will be out on February 28th. I'll catch y'all then.